Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video uh, on Injective. I wanted to do a full video. I mean, I, I did a short yesterday in my, uh, on my shorts channel, Selenix Crypto short. Um, I did, a, I, I, did a, I did a quick update there because what, what we got and what's interesting about Injective right now is that, first of all, it's very bullish, <laughs> all right? So that's probably why most of you are here. But we also got a major bullish breakout on the, on the daily time frame which is an indication that we can get more and more bullish momentum. And then apart from that, Injective fundamentally is also doing good. Uh, we're getting towards the tops we made at the end of February uh, in terms of total value locked. So that's all fine. And the, and the protocols on Injective are, are growing. So that's great to see. But like I said, technically, if you, if you look at this, like this level right here, around $45 was the main resistance level for Injective since the end of 2023. So this is a, a, a range high for multiple months. Well, multiple weeks, I can, I can better say it's for about three months um, or no, two months, two and a half. But this was the main resistance. So breaking above that, especially on the on the daily time frame, means a lot. All right. And I think in general, uh, what you see is that the market at this point of time is still very bullish, which is which is obviously also bu bullish for altcoins. But you can also see some sort of a shift into the bigger layer one blockchains, which Injective is a part of. And we all know that Injective has a massive community and we know it can pump a lot. <laughs> all right. Um, so, so in general, I'm, I'm, I'm very bullish on Injective, both fundamentally and technically. And I kind of wanted to talk about the, the, the potential from here, all right? Because that's a bit of, um, we're now at all-time highs. So it's a bit more difficult, I would say, uh, to estimate those, uh, those next price targets. But in general, what you should take from this, I mean, the last time, and this is not comparable, but the last time we, we hit, uh, we, we like every time that Injective broke above a massive resistance level, like right here at $10, but also right here at like 18.7. And um, well, this was a lesser one, but also above $32 every time. And most of the times it also retested that level, uh, but every time it caused way more bullish momentum. And Injective right now is a big crypto, right? It has a market cap of almost $5 billion. Uh, so the so the potential is in many ways limited, but I see no reason why why Injective would not really hire. All right. So on the four hour time frame, if we if we zoom in, I think a pullback is actually to be expected. All right. Uh, Bitcoin is still very strong, but Injective on its own is not that correlated. And like I said, I mean it's um, after after the bullish momentum we got yesterday. What also happened, if I can check that out, is the, the open interest has dropped down quite a bit. So we have lost some momentum. We've had some, some positions closed. Um, and that's still going on right now. So I do think we can get a pullback into this level right here at $47, $45. But from there, in these bullish market circumstances and knowing what Injective uh, can do, I don't think that will break. I think we can hold that as support and then probably consolidate initially. Uh, but if from that consolidation, the open interest starts increasing, we can e easily get up. All right. So the main price target at first would be $56. That's the first uh, relevant Fibonacci level, I would say. But ultimately, $60 is my main price target. Um, so let's just call the level like $56 to $60. That's our main price target. Um, technically, that's a strong resistance level. And I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, but technically, that's a strong resistance level. There's a psycholog psychological element to it. And, um, and ultimately, that's very much what we have to work with. I mean, if you, if you look at this, for example, if you look at a, a Fibonacci extension, the 1.618 is also at that, uh, at that level. Later, we can start talking about 70 and 75. Those are also two uh, technical and psychological resistance levels. But for now, this seems most likely. All right, so I'll keep you updated on this if you're interested in that, because it is it is dependent a bit on what Bitcoin does. Um, but I would be surprised if, if Injective fails to hold this, this breakout. We can spike down below it, but I, I do think eventually we will hold it. But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.